We are from Laban Matriculation College. We are a group of biology students doing a research on oatmeal. Do enjoy our video. Okay, class, today we are going to talk about oatmeal. I wonder what's so unique about this small creature. Hmm, I wonder how. I wonder why. Taxonomy of oofworm. The domain of oofworm is Eukarya, while it's located under kingdom Animalia. The phylum of oofworm is Annelida. Its classes is Clitellata. The order of oofworm is Halpotaxida, and its family is Eudrilidae. The genus of oofworm is Eudrilus, while its species is Eugenia. There are three classes under phylum Annelida, which are Polyketa, Oligoketa, and Hirudinae. The species under class Polyketa is nearest species, which is Recum, while the species under class Oligoketa is Peritima species, which is Earthworm. And lastly, the species under class Hirudinae is Hirudo, which is Leech. Features of Earthworm Earthworms like lungs and other specialized respiratory organs. They breathe through skin. Their skin exudes a lubricating fluid that eases them to move underground. Each of worm has two genders and produces both eggs and sperm. We are talking about the unique characteristics of Annelida. As we all know, they are the most advanced from all worms. Now, let's talk about the physical difference that differ them from all the worms. First, they have silicon, which is the body fluid. They also show cephalization, which is the head formation and have segmented body with blunt ends. They also have scritellum. They also have set they also have sete, which are bristles made of kitten for locomotion. This is exceptional for leeches. Now let's talk about the digestive tract. They have a complete digestive tract with mouth and anus. They also have a closed circulatory system. We are going to talk about roles of Annelida. The first one is for medical use. Teachers secrete hirudin and anticoagulant in their saliva. The benefit is hirudin is an anticoagulant, anti blood clotting that helps to prevent blood clotting. The second one is involved in soil erosion, which is earthworms loosen, erect, and mix the soil as they grow into the soil. Growing activity of earthworm improve soil erosion, which is allowing greater penetration of air and water into soil. Let's talk more about earthworm. They are vital in agriculture. This is because they help fertilize the soil in various ways. The burrowing and soil feeding habits of earthworms create many pores in soil, which is permit both erosion and quick absorption of water. And also for soil feeding habits of earthworms create many pores in soil, which is permit both erosion and quick absorption of water. And also for gases exchange. Created using Powtoon.